what's up everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time it's your girl patrick kiera and today's video is going to be a thrift haul i'm going to call this a mini thrift haul because i am only going to be showing you guys about like seven or eight pieces that i've thrifted most recently my closet does cycle a lot because i do work at a buy sell trade store so i'm constantly selling and purchasing new items so yeah we're just gonna get straight into the video i hope that you guys and enjoy these pieces that I've found and let me know your thoughts down below you guys already know the skirts are super in right now especially mini skirts I have definitely been into the skirts trend not gonna lie not gonna lie I'm definitely into the skirts trend right now and the first skirt that I thrifted is this fun textured knitted skirt right here and my camera's about to die so i'll be right back okay we're back so the first skirt that i want to show you guys is this skirt right here it's like a knitted skirt that has all these different really cool interesting textures and it's from a brand that is called micas when i looked up the brand it just seemed to be like a fast fashion online boutique type of brand and i'm really not an advocate for fast fashion i'm not against people who buy it because i get it but i personally only buy fast fashion i can't only buy anything that's secondhand can't lie but particularly fast fashion i will only purchase it if i find a thrift store for a very affordable price because i just don't want to feed the beast of fast fashion but this skirt was so cute i had to get it it's such a fun piece definitely a statement piece in the closet and also just a perfect piece for the fall time i also filmed an outfit styling video so you guys will be seeing me putting together a full outfit with this skirt but i did want to come and show you guys because it is one of my most recent purchases and i am so obsessed with this so the next skirt that I have is a skirt that actually is, I think it's probably like an early 2000s like boutique brand. It's called Good Time, Good Time USA. Let me show you guys. So this is the brand. I've never heard of this brand before, but it is this roughly cargo skirt with just an elastic waistband and this skirt is like a dream come true i've been wanting a skirt with like a lot of textures because i'm just like really into ruffles if you guys watch my channel then i'm pretty sure that you already know that i'm super into like ruffles and texture so when i found this skirt i was really delighted so happy that i got this and i've already worn it a few times and when I wear this skirt, I tend to go for a more like gothic grunge look. I don't know. It just has like a grunge appeal. And I don't know. I just naturally tend to add pieces to it that continuously make this a more grungy look but this is like one of my favorite items in my closet right now also it could just be worn a lot of ways so i mentioned how i've been cycling through my wardrobe a lot i haven't been doing it as much recently i will say but i was cycling through my wardrobe because i was purchasing items that i couldn't really wear more than once or twice but now i'm finding items that i can really wear continuously and over and over again in many different ways and that makes me happy because i'm not spending as much money which i normally sell things to buy new things anyways but I'm not spending a lot of money and yeah it just feels rewarding to be able to wear these cool pieces that I find in a variety of different ways so yeah it's a win-win so the next skirt that I am showing you guys I'm only showing you guys three skirts today I think I can add more but the rest are kind of just like plaid schoolgirl skirts so I just didn't see the appeal of adding them into this video but this right here is an alaya parachute skirt situation and i actually styled this skirt in one of my last styling outfit 
videos so I will insert that so that you guys can check that out but this skirt right here actually when I purchased it it still had the tag on it like the Alaya tag so if you look at the label it's definitely more current season oh it's like pretty overexposed but it is definitely a more current season collection it's a more current season piece than a lot of things that I normally purchase and I'm only saying this because I also thrifted an Alaya blazer that I have to show you guys so yeah this skirt right here is just a super fun it's just a great piece I love the silhouette of it I love how dramatic it is and it definitely is a showstopper statement piece so since I was just speaking on a lie also if y'all see me holding my arms down like this it's because I haven't shaved so I'm trying not to give y'all a show that you don't want to see but here we are back with the Alaya pieces and what I the reason I was explaining the tag the label that's inside the skirt the Alaya skirt is because this right here is a different tag as you can see and this is probably from the 90s I'm actually gonna look it up and come back and tell y'all because I don't want to be spreading false info okay so I think I was proven right um, I just found this photo right here and this is a very similar label and this is a 90s Alaya laser cut leather mini skirt and the tags look very very similar so I'm assuming that this blazer right here is definitely from the 90s and as you can see the lining beautiful the inner construction it's basically like a corseted blazer so let me show you guys uh, it's like hard to show you and like talking to this mic at the same time but we gonna do it we gonna do it so on the inside you have this metal insert and it basically has clasps. It's kind of like how a hook and eye works. It's like clasps that go together and they create this boning effects in the back. So they keep it together and they make it really tight. The construction of this overall blazer is just creme de la creme, honestly. Um, as you can see, it has like this bustier cutout and it just has like the boning in it as well that makes it super tight and just super slim and like sexy on the body. Just beautiful piece, beautiful piece. And I almost let this piece go, but I couldn't because I've already fumbled the bag on two Alaya pieces in the past like two years I didn't have any Alaya so I had to have this like I had to kind of just muster it up and purchase this piece right here but it is just such a beautiful piece and I'm so excited to add this into my archive there are definitely pieces that I purchase or that I thrift or purchase secondhand and they are definitely pieces that I'm gonna have forever that I know I could never get rid of especially for the price that I'm getting them for and this blazer is definitely one of those pieces so I'm so happy to have this so the next item that I picked up are these long long dramatic Driesman Newton pants they are 100% wool you guys can see ah, the tag right here they're 100% wool and they're really really long so I'm still trying to figure out like how I'm gonna style them if I want to get them tailored more than likely they're gonna have to be tailored because I don't know anyone other than like a supermodel who could fit these pants and like not have them dragging on the city streets and we're not about to do that and I am five eight and a half I'm like almost five nine so I don't really know but 
I do love the volume of the pants. I love this detailing in the front. It's kind of as if they've been tailored on the sides, but they haven't been. And yeah, they're just overall a very nice pants. I think that I could get some good wear out of these and these are definitely a like basic, but not so basic. A not so basic basic, I'll, that's what I'll say. They're a not so basic basic and I just really enjoy these as well. All right, so let's get into the shoes that I wanna show you guys. The first pair of shoes I'm gonna show you guys are these adorable, I don't know if you would call these Oxford style. We're gonna look at it. I'm gonna see if these would be considered Oxford style, but they are these leather shoes that have like the cutest little chunky heel on the back and these are from a brand called kickers when i looked at the brand it seems that it's a, a uk based brand but they sell them on like asos and other websites they also have their own website these are genuine leather at the top i just love the wash of the shoe they're kind of like a navy they're kind of like a navy but also like a uh, a grayish color and i just really enjoy these shoes i thought that they would just be the perfect shoe to have to wear with like a pair of slacks or even like a cute skirt and be a little bit more dressy i just like to have options <laughs> to put it simple i like to have options and i just thought that these were just so freaking adorable i love the stitching that we have going on here as well it just adds on a little bit more detail they had like a little small tag that said kickers on them as well but it was giving me when people wear the hats with the tag still on it that's the vibe i was getting from it so i just took it off because i was not feeling that look i hate that look but yeah, I really love these shoes right here. I think they were just so freaking adorable. And yeah, also dope brand. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link to the website for this brand right here. And last but not least, I picked up another pair of loafers. So these loafers right here, I picked up and I thought that they were just so cute. The color, like the cherry red color, and they have like a very small heel. So they're easy to walk around in all day. When I'm looking for things, I am normally looking for shoes particularly or shoes specifically. I look for things that are going to be comfortable, but that, are, but that are still cute. And these right here are a pair of coach loafers and i'm just so obsessed with them i basically wear loafers almost every day now i have a pair of gucci loafers that i've definitely styled in a few videos and i'm just obsessed i love loafers and yeah i just really enjoy wearing them with my outfits they just seem to go with every outfit that i wear so these are just a new addition. I thought that I would get some that have like a pop of color. And I also love the gold hardware that Coach has like on their bags. So yeah, I just really enjoy these right here. All right, so that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It is super quick video, nothing crazy. I don't want to extend these videos and make them too, too long. Let me know down below what you guys like from this haul. If you have any video ideas or things that you wanna know from me, let me know down below and I will try to make sure to accommodate you, okay? Well, I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.